Is there a back door from the leasing office? Getting this on film. I was worried about that. Yeah. There's somebody up there looking at me. Back over. Oh, you're back there. So I guess Sunday now, pull hours are not real. <laughs> <laughs> that, was it. that was in the 80s. Okay, follow me. Yeah, we've been in Toronto for years. We still got to get out. Slow down, sweetie. Well, we're doing good on time now. The things you really want to take in consideration when you're looking for apartment buildings is the condition of the, the driveways. Very expensive to repair. And, you know, I've said a few times you really want to focus on the exterior of the building. It does make the property look a lot better, but. When I meant focus on the exterior, I meant, you know, something that's going to make someone stop and notice. Most people won't stop and notice a beautiful looking driveway. So I was very fortunate because they had just redone a lot of the driveway before I bought the property, um, which probably cost between fifty dollars to $100,000 in asphalt and concrete. I'm sorry, you said you, that's what you paid or that's what you would well, that's what they paid because the receipts are in the office. Um, okay. Let's see, we'll walk over here. Go back in the property. 162 units. Oh, I see. What? Uh, 262. 216, huh? And these are flat roofs too, right? They are, but um, these are special flat roofs. What color are they? They're white, actually. I know they're dirty. Not working. Okay, but here's what's really, this, here's what was so exciting about this building. There's some new technology, if you will, out there. This is a Duralast roof, and it's, it, it's a white, thin membrane. And they just put this on um, right before they lost the property, and it cost over $400,000, and they have their seats. Mm -hmm. So this is part of the million-dollar rehab that they did, and the whole entire complex has this. It kind of comes with a lifetime warranty. It lasts for a very, very long time. You know, no leaking, keeps the tenants happy. Uh, the white reflects the sunlight, right? We're here in Houston. Uh, this is really the way to go, if at all possible, when you buy buildings. Take it into consideration. All bills paid property. You have to fix the roof. You might really want to budget in um, a roof like this. It's unbelievable, fantastic. So I'm assuming that their financial trouble or demise is very quick. I mean, it was, was unforeseen because they put a lot of money in this. Is right. that something that can happen virtually overnight? Yeah, maybe, you know, well, you know, maybe someone called a note that they weren't planning on, you know? Maybe, you know. So, it was a company. It was a small REIT, I believe. It wasn't, you know, okay. it just happened, you know? Maybe they, maybe they, they, they had other battles to fight to make more money somewhere else. Adam, yeah. is that dirt or is that another something we put on it? Because it's not exactly... I thought it would be lily white. It is. It's dark. dark yeah. So I mean, take a look across the street. I mean, we got like the biggest construction project okay. going on here <laughs> since the Boston Tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> and it can get punctured, right? It huh? can get punctured, right? Um, yes, it can get punctured. And I have just come in and see a well, fact, you know, like I said, with any roof, when someone's walking on it, sure, anything can get punctured. You really want to be careful. Um, you know, 
I would love to actually take you guys up to the third floor, but I don't think we're going to do that today. And we can go walk on the roof, or, you know, there's an area where you can stand and see all the white roofs. I mean, um, just take a difference. Look at, look, at, look at my competitor over there. By the way, he just put a new roof in. And what did I say the golden rule is probably going to cost him per door a new roof? $1,500. $1,500. Whatever he has. If he has 100 units there, I'm not sure. He probably spent $150,000 for his roof. Okay? And that's not really including, you know, maybe there's a lot of damage underneath, that joist damage that we talked about that I had at La Montreal. I'm not sure. But uh, you see a building like this, you call me. You grab it. Because um, these roofs in a, in a, in a hot, hot city like Houston, Texas, are, are worth their weight in gold. So keep your tenants happy. Their electricity bills will be lower. And if you have an all-bills-paid property, more money for you to make on your NOI. So they can put those dual last roofs on pitch roofs as well as flat roofs. That's a good question, yeah. Can you do that? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Because, sure, we're talking about energy efficiency here, but a lot of us are really concerned with um, leaks. All right, so on a pitched roof, the water's running off. You can pond all you want. You're probably not going to pond too much anyway, because whatever was sagging, we fixed, or they fixed anyway, before you put this down. All right? But you can pond all you want. It's a material that's waterproof. Hmm. This is another, this is, this is a coin max situation that's worth us going to court over. And we're doing it. Um, they are saying that they recently put in some new machines and that their 10 year lease renews. I didn't sign up. Yeah, it doesn't matter, unfortunately. And not only that, this was a foreclosure. So you'd think something like that would be wiped out, but it turns out they're just a tenant. It was, it was written, you know, obviously in favor for them. Um, and, and this generates a lot of money. You know, if we said, um, let's say $400 a month cash on 34 units, so uh, that would be $3,400 for, um, for 340, and this is just about half the size of that. So you're talking about um, fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars a month right. in revenues, or you know, income, or net income, and you know, on a ten multiple, you're talking about one hundred fifty thousand dollars more of your sales price. Mm -hmm. it, you know, a lot of money. Just gotta figure out how to get that done. Well, we're we're going to court over it. As a matter of fact, I mean, we're because um, now it pays because we have a pretty large portfolio. We're just gonna get rid of all. You know, I'm, I mean, they don't service them well. They, you know, they want to count the money on their own terms. And again, you know, keep in mind that we're paying the water, we're paying the sewage, mm -hmm. and what we're idea. paying the natural. Yeah, it's a publicly traded company. I guess I'll wash the cars for you. Are you interested? No, it's unbelievable. I, I think it's it's a it's a true business opportunity because they they have cornered the market and they do such a crappy job servicing their customers, and they have such a bad reputation. Because they're, they're, they're seriously making money by stealing from apartment owners. I think it would be a president set up where they actually prove that. Yeah. And you're coming to that. Their the argument is, okay, uh, I, I call them. I want to watch you guys count the money. I don't, I don't think you're being honest with me. Well, you know, then, you know, it wouldn't be safe for our guys to show up at the same time every day or every month because then people might be watching them and they know how, and then, you know, we're worried about the safety of our guys. So, okay, just call me. so the, you know the, rea the reality is you have those guys counting the money first, and then you have someone counting the money second, right. and then you're third. <laughs> so um, okay, so that's the laundry room. We'll work our way uh, back. You know, check it out. I mean, I didn't do anything. It was just like this.
Now, do you, you folks. Yeah, that's how the thing will function. That's what I say. If, you know, if you go back to some of the things we learned over the last two days when I, when I was talking about like stealing the deal, buying it right, and watch how much debt you put on the property door by door. Let me give you another example now that you're starting to learn how this all works. My debt over at the Villas of Pasadena per door is around $140 a door. The first $140 that comes in goes to the bank. My debt per door here is between $60 and $70 a door. Money goes right into our pocket. My note payment, terms are a little different, my note payment is, I think, around 11800 at the Villas of Pasadena. My note payment here is approximately $11,000 a month. You loaned your real good pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting 100%. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Are you trying to get me angry? <laughs> So that's the advantage we have right now, um, getting involved in the apartment business. You obviously have a choice. You can either maintain the rents like the rest of the marketplace. He can't move that much over there at $25,000 a door. His debt is twice as mine, most likely. So if I wanted to drop prices, I could. If I want to maintain, but, but you wouldn't do that unless I needed to. Yeah. Are these the hurricane? Uh, whatever. Um, yeah, they did some electrical work. This property wasn't hit um, that bad, but um, you know they, they did receive hurricane night money, and they made the repairs. That's money from the insurance fund. Yeah, um, folks. This is probably the largest investment we made in this property. Back here. I mean, it, it wasn't here. You, know, you can see it's becoming one of our trademarks. Fantastic. You know, I just love doing it for the children. And, um, you know, as far as I know, they don't have this over there. So it differentiates yourself from your competition. We spoke about the barbecues, cast iron barbecues. Please come on out here and have a barbecue and not on the third floor. So stuff like that, safety. Um, How'd your residents respond? I love it. I mean, they love it. I mean, can you imagine if you lived here to and you had no spot. intentions to move for lots of reasons, maybe the school system or really close to work, and then someone comes in and does that? Yeah. So, matter of fact, we, you know, we have a hard time keeping the kids away from this store. Okay. Um, Just give them flyers. <laughs> <laughs> Do. <laughs> hang on, hang on one second. Fence over here. That's eleven thousand, right? Was that what eleven thousand on my on my email? From there to there. Yeah, absolutely. They wouldn't give me my certificate of occupancy without it. You have to renew that certificate every year? Not every year, but every time the property changes hands, for sure. Yeah, so but that's the next owner's problem. So you need to move this onto the other property to get put fences in. And so, yeah, yeah. so one fence was not enough. Man. Yeah, can you believe it? Yeah, why did you need to add this here if it wasn't here before? I had to do it. No, it just makes yeah. So I just want you guys to know, I mean, when you're, when you're in this business, you got to follow the rules. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's a, you I, need to try to train the rules on City Hall. Or well, I'll tell you what, that, that wasn't in the budget. Yes. You know, so. Yeah. That's why when you're raising money in a PPM, uh, you have to budget for the unexpected. Exactly. Yeah. How much do you budget? What percentage? Uh, um, Did you say 50%? Well, you said 50%. Well, you said 50%. Well, you said 50 or something, you get something raised about 50 slash 5. No, I, I just know that you want to over over budget when you take over a building. I can't give you a ratio. Um, it would be a case for case. Yeah. Case by case. Well, you'll get an average after, I guess, 10 units or 10 complexes. Alan, do you try to park in here? Yeah. Um, we do. Um, we make revenue on uh, reserve parking here. 
Um, I don't know if some of you heard my joke, which is unfortunately, it's just about all covered parking here. Oh, okay. So, but there's plenty of complexes in Houston that are 50-50 covered, mm -hmm. half covered, half not covered, and they charge for covered parking. Premium. So don't forget, you know, who your tenant is. Their car is, is their, their home, right? They care more about their car than buying a house. So you said, and you had mentioned before, you can, you can park, charge for it under what percentage? You can't charge here, right? Because it's all parking. Well, okay, we charge for reserve parking because obviously, I mean, we're pretty full here. So someone might have to park here and walk to the other side of the complex to get to their unit. So they might say, you know what, it's worth the $25 to $50 a month to have a reserve spot by their unit. Okay. But, but if you, somebody else has got that, you're going to have to park here to get there. Yeah, but... Uh, we try to find closest to them. Yeah, exactly. Available. Yeah. I love that sign. We love our residents. Yeah. Very nice. Keep the trash pictures out. I mean, it's actually, you know, it, it's good that I see that, you know, and I'm going to call Trace and I'm going to say, you know, because the so ma waste management's job isn't really to take away that kind of furniture, so I'm going to have to tell my property manager, get it out. Fire hazard, kid, you know, whatever, kid hazard. So he has to call a private company to haul that away? Probably. Or or pay extra to waste management, and they'll put an order in. Okay. You don't have a heavy um, trash day in apartments? Yeah, but we don't want it hanging out. It just isn't look good. It's not good for business. I've never been there. Um, it could be. I mean, I would imagine. So, you know, right away, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm uh, checking out a property, I look to see, um, I look, I look at the driveways right away, because um, that can easily cost fifty to hundred thousand dollars if you have to redo them. And again, that's not where you really want to have to put your money. You'd rather put your money into painting and, and fixing stairs and, and sprucing up the property. Um, the roof got me right away. Um, these coverings are actually very expensive too. Um, these metal coverings, and half of them are brand new, so that was a nice added bonus. Um, they fixed around 10 or 20 units with Hurricane Ike um, inside. Uh, let's keep walking. Working a deal out with the towing company, you, can, you guys can see how it can save you a lot of money with not having to strike your parking lots when the city tells you to. And you can just have it done by the towing company for free. You know, you got to make sure your drainage is, in, um, it's very expensive now too. So um, I was fortunate enough that my, my drainage is in pretty good shape here. Because um, when it rains, we know it rains a lot. Um, they have these trucks right now where they just roll up and they create these, um, what do you call them? Butters. Butters, thank you. Right on site. It's fantastic. <laughs> one thing at a time, Mirror, one thing at a time. Okay. All right. Ah. Okay. Um, okay. I'll, I'll try leasing office one more time then. All right. Don't worry about it. Okay. Got it. All right. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Apparently everyone's in church. So they said. My maintenance people. A lot of sins were told before, huh? They told me they were very religious.
Let's take one more shot. Let's walk around. I'll go back in the leasing office and see if I can find some keys to show you guys some inside of the units. Yeah, it's the only thing I got good out of my nose, but I experience. Most of my money, but I learned how to speak a little Spanish. It's <laughs> okay, you got it back. <laughs> It's actually nice because I can sometimes pick up pricing number, you know, people talking numbers. And I look at them and they're like, maybe you know, they see that I understand. I just can't really speak it as much. But. Right now is the refinance game that we talked about. Um, you know, there's lots of tax credit deals out there right now. How basically people are incentivized to build communities for you know, low income housing. Um, I think over the years, lots of people figure out how to take advantage of that system too. And, um, you know, again, a developer gets to go in there, build up a tax credit situation, pocket millions of dollars, and walk away, non-recourse, here are the keys, it didn't work out. And then the tax credits follow the, follow the property. So now the bank has the property back with tax credits attached to it, which means you have you have ceilings on specific units, and they got to move the property. You know? So apparently, we're already talking about it because that's one of those deals over there too. Now, tax credit situations don't necessarily mean low, low, low income housing and what you might think. There's plenty of tax credit situations for for um, uh, middle class people as well. So I've been to some beautiful Class A apartment buildings that, that um, yeah that had HUD financing in there and tax credit situations. Absolutely. So, that's it. Hey, Francisco. Yeah. See? Yeah, she said that the apartment is open. Oh, yeah? Go check. Okay. See, primero, nosotros buscamos the Okay. 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 Actually, just really got out of church, right? Yeah. <coughs> That's okay. Anyway, Time and a half for you guys is worth it. <laughs> I'll tell him to do it. here and just keeps this building functioning. It's fantastic. Um, that's it. Other than that, you see there, that's where the cool filter is. And um, this is your your hot water oil. And oh, just a little tidbit of information to save money on your natural gas bill. You can control how hot you want your furnace to go. You know, so it's not burning all the time. So I, I, I kind of I do that over at the villas. When I start getting too many complaints that the water doesn't get hot enough, then I jack it up again. So. Uh -huh. yeah. 
So I'll admit this, only one yeah. boiler? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that unbelievable? Yeah, we entire building. All entire well. building. Wow. Yeah. You start checking the apartments? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's awesome. What kind of system is that? <laughs> that also keeps scaling. It's a water softener. Yeah. Um, they're all up on the roof. On the roof. Okay. They're all on the roof. Yeah. Yeah. sure that your the rails are you know really secure. Do you need to do something about that? You don't think so? No, a matter of fact it's ventilation. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you messed with this thing. It looks like that now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's fantastic. Look, someone can smoke cigarettes over there and it goes that way. <laughs> So you get that little smell, and I think it's important for a leasing agent, a property manager, to air everything out. Um, obviously, you know, you get that kind of stale smell because no one's been in here for a while. Um, you know, another, look, remember I was talking about, you know, just creating some kind of idea that the tenant's going to remember. Someone's going to look in his closet, and they're going to say, oh, we saw a bunch of units today, they all look the same, but remember the one that had that, you know, party ribbon hanging in the closet? Yeah, the pot too. You know, you so these are, um, we give gifts sometimes to people moving in. So um, maybe like, maybe they have some.
something in the bathroom, like a plunger or some soap or something like that, and it really goes a long way. And of course, you want to, you know, give away a plunger it could save us a lot of money. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I mean, I know you guys are laughing. Overhead. If I got to set up maintenance, <laughs> we deputize everybody. Okay, notice we got we have the electric stove and not a gas burning stove. They're paying their own electricity here. Um, you know, so look, I mean, this is actually a little different in town. You don't have this kind of armor um, situation. Um, these are new countertops. They're not. They're not um, sprayed like most of my countertops. And you put the little streamers on it, yeah. Yep. Yeah, streamers. Make it look new. Yeah, okay. You, you can go in if you want to, sure. Because I think you were talking about it. Oh. Nice. Right. Looks like it's New Year's Eve around here. I know, get the confetti out. So this two bedroom, did anyone notice what they rent for downstairs? Um... This might rent for $4.99. Really? Right. That's really that, good. What do you guys think? That's expensive? Or no. Reasonable? No. Oh, okay. Just making okay. sure. Okay. Let's we'll stay in the house and move into an apartment. So, yeah. It, yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, no, uh, again, I told you, like, you always have to be have your thumb on the pulse of your vacancy. Right now, there's probably no aggressive specials going on. So, Phil, there's probably no third uh, floor discount going on right now, as long as we're in the high 90s. Um, Okay, and I, I don't know, I think they should probably charge more. They don't have any neighbors on that side. Uh, yeah, stuff with the view and they have privacy. And yeah. yeah, absolutely. Quiet. No, no one up top, no one over there. It's perfect home for me. Yeah. 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 Privacy. It's marketing. You need to market it. Privacy special. Yeah. Yeah. Folks, I can tell you that we probably didn't do anything to that unit since we bought this building. We just probably, someone moved out and that's that's what a typical made ready would look like. Um, Not paint, you didn't paint or anything. We didn't talk about carpeting, you know, there, you, you can dye carpeting, you know, so you don't, you want to put down the darkest carpeting as possible as long as it looks good or, you know, and then you finally get to the point where the carpeting is wearing through and you can't dye it anymore. It's so time for new carpeting. So that, that's paint. You know, Moss? Yeah. See, okay. Let's go see another one. That's painted now, but then we sort of just painted it. Especially for spots, right? Oh, yeah. What about, what about this, uh, stairs? Oh, we're, we're moving on to the... And that's because it was leaking in those spots? No, it's because they blew away with it. $2,000 a month living in the gallery area. So what do you think of Celine and Willis and one of the big things we're into? Why is the art, it's the deal itself. The yeah. deal itself can be around that door. Right. So this is different flooring. Fantastic. You know what, folks? This, this isn't my choice of flooring. You know, I, this, but this is in-house flooring. It's fantastic. You can order this from HD Supply. It's probably 25 cents a square. And then you have your maintenance people on your payroll put it in. And you know what's really, you know, we were talking about storage, um, storage um, spaces. One thing that's so great about the storage business is you get a tenant, they only got to do it at the end is go in there and when they move out, it's spray down, close it down. You know, in a way you're doing this too. I mean, you don't have to worry about the carpet. I mean, all you have to do is just wipe this down. You really have to watch your turnover expenses. I, I, I said to be anywhere from, say, 30 to 60% a year. So the reality is the person that moves in here, half 50% chance he's moving out 12 months later. So, um, you know, right turnover expense is going to affect the amount of money you make when you're, when you're running your apartment building. It's going to affect your NOI. All the units here have garbage disposals. All the units at Oak Point here have dishwashers. Pretty cool amenity here in Pasadena. All right. So this one, the fridge is just in storage somewhere? Yeah, there's no fridge here? Right. Yeah, they're just... Um, just in storage. Right? Yeah. Well, that's probably how it's left. You are a hustler. So the electric is off? Oh, sorry. Huh? The electric is off? I guess so. Okay, so um, is that standard? Yeah, perhaps maybe this person just moved out. I'm not sure what's happening okay. here. They do have to change over the name. Right, so that's what's probably happening. And um, But we do control our electricity from a portal downstairs. 
Maybe we just need to make sure that the contract ends with the person that just moved up. Before we jump on. Do you prefer this flooring or the, or the carpet? Or you know, it just it... what can I say? It's, um, the building's full, more or less. Okay. So if it wasn't, and I was just taking something over, I would, you know, I might splurge and put down beautiful looking flooring, something that looked like wood flooring, vinyl okay, that looked like wood flooring. But this is like 25 cents a square where you buy cartons of it. And these guys put it down with a little glue and you're done. Can you talk about that land and floor? Yeah. Are you saying that it would cost $2,000 for one place? Like oh, without this? a doubt. Um, this place would cost me approximately $2,000 for the laminate flooring that I would choose. Okay, but this Here, is two, three hundred dollars not even, including labor. It's a big okay. difference. Sure. Yeah. Leave the keys in the door. I'll leave them in there. Leave the keys in the door. After Hurricane Ike. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. well, no, we, we bought a new home. Yeah, that's why I thought. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm in West Briar yeah. and uh, Green. Sorry. 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 This could rent for as low as three ninety nine. Wow. Yes. So you know, wow. three ninety nine. Steel. Right. So so now, now you really see the other side of the business. I mean, wouldn't this be an incredible investment? Renting an apartment for three ninety nine. It looks like this. Who cares what happens? You've got a new renter right here. Yeah. 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 Who cares what happens? Oh. Uh, we can go sit down. <laughs> No, I think we have we seen enough? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. So I want to make one quick stop and I we need to get back and eat lunch and uh, wrap things up. So I'm glad we got that experience. Um because because now you really have a better understanding of what it is you're actually renting. I mean you know, like I just said, no matter what happens in this world, if this is $400 a month, it's like $12 a day, or a little more, but 50 cents an hour. I mean, how does someone not be able to afford that? Or a cup of coffee, like this. That's right. That's right. Or a Starbucks. Yeah. Yeah. And is that just <laughs> gets back to why you chose the C category? Just, it just made the most sense to me right now. Yeah. You know, maybe next time it's we the, meet, the I have brand. a bunch of B proper, but um, the value put the the, the uh, what everyone play. the farm play, the treasure chest play. I guess mean, this is kind of both because we've captured millions of dollars in equity and we didn't have to do much. So this is definitely a combination of both. And um, um, it stays full. I mean, it stays full. I mean, look at this place. It's, this is actually quieter than the neighborhood it's I live nice. in. It's nice. And so if we have uh, um, 262 units, you probably have at least over 1,000 people living here. Right? And you can still hear the. Is that a rooster I just heard? Yeah. yeah. God. That right. Keep that out. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah. Okay, so um, we're going to take one more quick stop over at something like uh, 1500 Strawberry, which is only two blocks away from the Bills of Pasadena where we're returning. Okay. What's that? What do you mean? Well, I'll type. Huh? I'll type. No, it's okay. I, I, I hate this. Everyone's following me. Oh. Is she, <laughs> you sure you don't want to type? So, yeah, I'll get us back to the villas and from there. And, uh, I drove to the. <laughs> Look at that spare in the fire there. Guys. Okay. Cool. Everybody's Look waiting. At that. Oh my god. Okay, now go slow because you're not going to get out. Uh, okay.
Oh, but you got a car behind you. Oh, he did pull out. <laughs> Interesting guys and girls. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's just kind of like a, a you know comparison and contrast and you know I just want to make a point to you folks and why don't we all huddle up? I mean the point is that this is all over America right now. Wow. This is all over America. Uh, I saw this around a half a year ago and I was just very busy, so I, I opted out. But at the time, can anyone take a realistic guess what they were trying to sell this property for? How many units? That's a good question. Um, it's 141, 142, 140. Let's just say it's probably close to 150. $15,000 So, um, so if they were trying to sell this for $15,000 a door, uh, 100, that would be 1.5 million, two, two and a quarter. Two. So, the reason why I, I am just so passionate about all this stuff and how you folks can all seriously make changes in your life and. Um, you know, if you can get stuff going like this in your life and, you know, whatever you were truly meant to be. And, um, you know, I, I, I was thinking about this coming over this morning. I loved playing guitar my whole life. I, paid, I played for, like, the first 20 years of it, seriously. And um, I had this dose of reality where I just wasn't making money and I had to make some changes because it wasn't in my family lineage, lineage to go around giving guitar lessons. <laughs> I tried it. I fought the, you know, I fought the trend. It didn't work out for me. So, um, so this is for sale for three hundred thousand dollars, folks. What? How long has it been boarded up? Okay, three hundred thousand dollars. It's a big job. I haven't really been inside, but three hundred thousand dollars, and you know, do you feel that inside your body now yeah. after what we've just gone through in the last two, three? Do you, do you feel like maybe you can find some partners that might say, holy cow, yes, I see the vision too. I was just tied up. Well, well, Angel Ridge for me is <laughs> technically it's a treasure chest play, Angel Ridge. This will do. This is there, there, there's there's yeah there's definitely some more work here. I think there's some serious roof damage here. So, you know, after spending time with you here right now, and Mark coming up with the idea that this would be something good to show. I'm going to give this a serious look, Monday or Tuesday, depending, you know, I'm coming right back out here right now. Um, and I have a lot more experience with this stuff. But um, I just want to really make the point. So, you mean, some bank owns this, and you, you got to believe they want it up their books as fast as possible. You know the city of Pasadena is just threatening the hell out of them and just ring, tabbing up the bill. There's, you know, it's a cash register. Um, they, or, or I should say a money pit. It's costing somebody a lot of money. Everybody wants to move this property. And it's on a great street. Yeah, yeah it's on, and the streets, the streets in good Absolutely. condition. Absolutely. And I like this little thing right here in the yeah. front. Like, this is right. So, um, and you kind of get this feeling inside, you can actually create a community. Uh -huh. and, uh, you know, I, I finished a building like this where we call this Mansart on the side. I guess it was very popular in the 60s and 70s, and they were trying to bring like a a European look to the buildings. Mm -hmm. um, quite frankly, I would go in here, I'd just hardy plank the whole thing. Yeah. And uh, are you kidding me? Brand new hardy plank against this beautiful brick. And, and the, uh, landscaping the landscaping's nice. nice. New doors. Yeah. I mean, the traffic count's got to be thousands and thousands of cars a day. Right. And you come out here with some big signage. So, you know, the, we're just here. I'm just saying, you know, my gosh. This, this could have been ask, maybe ask. even a B property at one time, right? Sure. I mean, just ask the questions and, and stop and, you know, maybe this is driving for dollars, okay? Mm -hmm. This is driving for dollars. You don't see any brokerage sign up here. 
Um, it's, it's not on LoopNet right now. I tried to pull it up for you folks this morning. Um, but I was sent over here a few months ago, or a, a half a year ago, by some brokers. Um, I don't think it's sold yet. Yeah. Maybe there's a lot of maybe there's a lot of water damage on the inside. Of sure, it. but don't don't get too don't start. Yeah, you know, I don't know if it's the fear that sets in in us. You know. So, you know, sometimes maybe there's a ton of water damage and then, you know, then, you know, you can bring in a top-notch plumbing company and give them the whole job. Sometimes when there's just a small amount of water damage and it's here and here and here and here and, and you start working and working with small companies, that's when it becomes a real pain in the butt, you know, but, you know, like, maybe the roofs, maybe you need a whole brand new roof, fantastic. That's one phone call. That's it. One phone call. So sometimes the bigger the problem, it's even better. But, um, you know, if you can control your fear, because it's really fear that's just stopping people from doing this. Definitely. Okay. I mean, the land is obviously worth more than $300,000. And yeah. the broker told you that. that oh, who brought, who, who this was on LoopNet at one point. Maybe we should Google it when we get back. Uh, I just didn't know what it was called. Um, so, yeah, why don't we go we'll check it out when we get back to the property. But it's just, I bought stuff right like now. this, and we've captured the cash flow. We captured the equity. And I see no reason why this can't be one of those properties where, where cash flow is fifteen to twenty thousand dollars a month, and you got a bunch of great debt equity in the property. You maybe stabilize the property, you buy it for cash, you come on in twelve to twenty-four months later. A lot of banks are going to be impressed with what you did. You know, you refire your money out, and you go find the next property like this. Or maybe you say, you know what, I cut my teeth, and I don't want to. You know, I have my guts ripped out a little, but I learned. I really learned how to do it by writing the checks and showing up. And um, let me go find a combination between a treasure chest play and a farm play. Right? Okay, so we ordered some pizza. Let's get back to the office and finish up. But I thought this would be something great to show you folks. They're all over the place. And think about the good. I mean, yeah, we want to make money. And we want to, ca we want to cash flow your life and whatever it is. Cash flow your, your, your children's education or cash flow your dreams, but you know, think about what you're doing too. I mean, the housing that you're supplying for people. I mean, clearly there's not enough housing, and then you have stuff like this caught between you know, banks and foreclosures and city arguments, you know, all over the place. It's all over the place. Think about, I don't know, 10,000 cars a day past this place. How many people do you think really called about it? How many people made a phone call? Who owns this property? I want to buy it. Covered parking. Oh, I mean, beautiful, beautiful foliage. Now you guys are starting to see all the, you know, the vision.